What's up, people? How you guys doing? How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? You know, it's time for another <clears throat> horror, horror with Star Study presents Sturdy Reviews. A Wounded Fawn. Listen. I'm going to let you guys know right up front. This movie is a slow burn. But it's... It's fucking worth it. It's worth the wait. It's worth the build up. Like, pay attention to everything in this fucking movie. Pay attention to everything in this movie. Especially a particular color. I'll say that. I'll say that. Um, and again, this is off of the, the list over on Shutter that I'm working on for right now with the story reviews. I'm going through all those movies. If they're not on the podcast, if I haven't reviewed them already, or if they're not on one of the wheels, I'm going to get them on here, but it's the, um, Shutter originals. So it's like Shutter classics, 2022 Shutter something, 2022. I forgot the list is called exactly at the moment, but this movie was on there. Um, the last movie I reviewed was on there, which you guys can go check that review out. Uh, the, the apology. Um, but yeah, this was, this was really good. And it was more of like, a um, as it builds into the story more, gets into the movie more, gets into the story more, it's more of a mind fuck than it is anything else. And you're just like, what the fuck? And after all the, you get through all the... The, the crazy twists and turns and shit. And then you get to the end and you're just like, what in the actual fuck? What in the actual fuck? In such a good way, though. In such a good way. It's just, oh, it's such a pleasant movie. This is so, I'm three for three on my list, people, for the, my uh, movie list. I do have it on. One of my movie lists, I'll make sure I have it on both of them, though. Um, you know, the popular one, Letterbox, and the other one. Just to, again, category, just make my list. But three for three so far, guys. I'm three for three. Yay me. That's on the horror end. But I'm going to try it on all the above. But so far, three for three this year. Anyway, back to the movie. I, I really... <laughs> like... I don't want to spoil this for you. I really don't want to spoil this movie for you guys. So I'll say. Watch this fucking movie. Watch this fucking movie. Like. It's just. I mean, look at this. Look at this owl. The red door. The red. Just all this shit. And the snakes. It's. It's such a crazy. Mind twisted type of thing. Um. And it just works so fucking well. Like it, it start again. It starts out kind of slow, but trust me, just just deal with it. Deal with it. Maybe it's about the first. I want to say maybe 20, 30 minutes. I believe. It didn't bother me though, because I figured it was gonna be a slow build. And again, it was just, it was worth the build up. It was worth the fucking build up. And this is, I, I kind of. Like, had I watched this movie last year, for 2022, this may have been, it's tough to say because I'd have to make a 2022 list, which I may do, I don't know, but this may have been on that list. And this is for movies like the 2020 movies, that, actually, it may be on both my lists as far as 20, movies that I watched for the first time that came out in 2022, or sorry, mo movies that I watched, movies that I watched for the first time. In 2022, they came out whenever, and then movies that came out in 2022 that I watched. This may be on both of those lists, possibly, but I've made that, so. I'm probably, I'm probably just going to wait and just work on one this this year, which I did say live on the podcast the other night, and I'm going to keep saying it, so I force myself to do it, is do a top 10 list per month, and then do a, maybe I do a top 12, or somehow throw in a top 13 at the end of the year. And that'll be like the opening to 2020. Four is my top movies from this year, from 2023. Whether they came, and I'll have a list of movies that came out whenever, which would be this list here. And then I have movies, and I have another list of movies that came out in 2023, which would be just movies that came out in 2023, and what I ranked them, and you know, stuff like that. 
But yeah, it's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a fun time. Back to the list though. A wounded fawn. Oh my gosh. It was just it was so beautifully done too, like the cinematography. Um the sound just because there were certain parts where it was just like the silence was so powerful and like every little noise every little crinkle in the woods at some points or you they were like real intense because you really heard the shit because everything else was so quiet it was just uh, the story was sick twisted fucked up but such a just done so well to where the guy you 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 it, the, the acting was so the acting in this movie was phenomenal like they got the two main characters that end up in the cabin that's all you know that's what i'll say um they made it so you really rooted against this guy like you're just like fuck this guy whatever the case may be so the acting was in that case and it wasn't you know what i mean i mean yeah he was an asshole he's a shitty guy but the acting the way he portrayed it it was almost one of those things where it's like, you know how sometimes when you watch a, a movie or movies or franchises, I know my wife does this, and there's like a certain character that just plays a bad guy so well, and they play it in like a certain series that you watched you're a big fan of, and then maybe they play an evil character in like another movie or another couple of things, right? And they do it so well, it's almost, it's like you can't, you, you they do it so well to the point that you dislike the character in the movie, and you, it's almost like you dislike the actor in a sense. You don't really dislike the actor, but it's, you just have that feeling. Like anytime you see the movie, you get like this weird feeling. That's how I like I act in this movie, in my opinion. And I thought that was fucking awesome. I thought that was fucking awesome. And I hope in real life that doesn't cause him anything. I'm sure he didn't. I'm just saying, I hope that doesn't cause him any type of bullshit drama. But I'm just saying, just the way he portrayed that character was that was fucking phenomenal. That was a great job, and I hope it didn't fuck with him mentally. But yeah, this was this movie was dope, and I'm ready to rate it. Uh, I'm gonna give it shit. I can't give anything less than an eight. I can't give anything less than an eight. It was that good to me. It really was, just because it was just like. I'm starting to really enjoy a horror with more than just the blood, guts, and gore. That's still my favorite by far. Do not get me wrong. That's never going to change. But I'm starting... You know what it is? It's because I'm watching more and more shit over the years between, of course, adulthood, growing up, and then meeting people like you guys that watch the show and recommend movies or the ones I've met at the cons and all that stuff I've became friends with, just in general. The wife, friends, family, all around, just the, the podcast, all this shit is making me watch so many more movies and open my eyes up and open, open my eyes, ear and heart and just everything up to watching more of these movies because this is something I may not have watched. I'm, I'll i say my teen years. It's, I, I don't know, though, because at the same time, if I had the op opportunity to watch a lot of these films, I think I still might. I still, of course, go for the blood, guts and boobs a lot more. But, um... Yeah, I'd probably still go for, you know, maybe not something like this, maybe more so like The Conjuring, because it is, even though it's a little slow burn at first, but it's more fast paced than this movie is. And it's a little kind of different kind of scary. But yeah, so I give this movie an eight. I definitely recommend it. Um, If you have Shudder, you should definitely check this out or AMC because you have Shudder with AMC. Check this movie out, man. As a matter of fact, I'm not even done with that list. I watched two movies on there so far. You can, again, go to the Apology episode and you can see what I rated that. But so far, I've 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 watched three movies off that list because I watched Christmas Bloody Christmas and I reviewed that over on the podcast portion of Horror Resource Thirty, um, back in December. And that movie I had a great time with. Again, I recommend that as well. Terminator Santa. <laughs> yeah, basically, a Terminator Santa for that one. And then again, this one's like a a crazy, mysterious, beautiful mind fuck. And if you're into those, you're gonna enjoy this. If you're iffy on those, I say give it a chance. Watch it with somebody that like really likes these type of films. Put your phone down, maybe even put it on silent. Better yet, put your phone in a different room, both of you. So you're not geared to even think about looking at your phone. And just enjoy the movie. Just enjoy the film. Really pay attention to it if you have your little snacks and, you know, stuff like that. 
you know, chat during the movie. It's cool to chat, light, quiet chat. You know, not too too. That's on you. You guys know how you are with that. But this is one you definitely want to watch and pay attention to. And I feel like a lot of people will enjoy this movie. And if you do check it out, let me know in the comments below how you felt about this movie and any other movie that you see me reviewing, whether it be these 30 reviews, these solo reviews that I'm going to be doing, or even on the podcast. If you watch it later on, drop it in the comments. Hey, yeah, check this movie out and let me know how you feel about the show as well. Let me know, you know, how you enjoy it. Let's interact some more. All that good shit, all that fun stuff, you know. But, um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching and listening to this. I definitely recommend this movie over on Shutter. Like I said earlier, I give this movie an eight. And, uh, yeah, this is another episode of Sturdy Reviews over here on Horror with Sir Sturdy. And I got more to come, people. Trust me, I have a lot more to come of these. I can't wait to do some more. I got some fun stuff planned. I got some fun stuff planned. But just expect this more often. Um, I'm also going to be doing these sturdy reviews, like, when me and the wife go watch a movie. As soon as we get home, I run right up here and just review how I felt about that film. So that'll be fun. And, yeah, be on the lookout for that, guys. Have a great night, great evening. I don't know what time you watch this. I don't even know what time I drop this. But you guys have a great time, great everything. Happy New Year. Hope everything goes well. And number three on Buffalo, we're thinking about you over here. Best wishes, best luck, God bless. Hope you heal, young king. And the rest of you guys, I'll see you in your nightmares. Peace.